The purpose of this video is to explain the basics of using line smarts, including how to capture a measurement and measure the span distance between poles. When the app is first open, it starts at the photos page, which shows all the previous measurements. Where the information has been inputted or the analysis has been performed, the record will show the time, date, span length, the number of wires that have been analysed for tension, and pole ID numbers. You can select the measurements to see the results or perform more analysis. On the top right of the screen are three buttons. Moving from left to right, there are settings, help, and new measurement. Under the settings menu, there are three sections. Uh, camera parameters, which relates to the device calibration and will be the topic of another video. Conductor parameters, which allow users to add their own conductor types to those available for calculating tension, again uh, the topic of another video. And then there is the reporting section which allows users with the full version of LineSmarts to save and email full resolution images if they so choose. Uh, selecting the button on the uh, top left takes you back. So we will select it twice here to get back to the photos page. Next on the top right is a help icon. Most pages in LineSmarts has one of these. The help typically provides an overview of and guidance for the parameters within the page. The plus allows a new measurement to be taken. Once selected, the user holds their device so the writing on the screen is at the bottom and taps the screen to capture an image of the span or the structure they'd like to measure. The image is then opened in the span info page. At this stage it's generally a good idea to enter at least the distance to the supports and the pole IDs if they're required. Once that data is collected other measurements can be captured and the user can come back to those records later to perform further analysis. When entering the range or distance to the poles, the user needs to consider the type of measurement they're taking. Some laser rangefinders have a built-in inclinometer, which allows the horizontal component of the actual distance to be recorded. That's a handy thing uh, for measuring a, the distance to a pole, because if the pole is vertical, the horizontal distance should be the same, irrespective of where on the pole the measurement is taken. Distance should also be, could also be measured using tapes or pacing, measuring wheels or other methods. The, it should be realised that the accuracy of line smarts is subject to the accuracy of the inputs. So more accurate methods are, are better. If a laser with an inclinometer is not used and the measurement is inclined, so on a slope, the horizontal range input checkbox should be unchecked and care should be taken then to identify the specific point on the pole that the distance measurement was taken to. So if you used a laser rangefinder without uh, it being horizontal, uh, and you aimed it at the top of the pole, then that's where you should select it in the image. Uh, to complete the span measurement, select the Locate Supports button, and that takes you to that image. And inside you can identify the pole locations. A red cross should be positioned over each pole. If only one pole is in the image, because a pole dimensional measurement is being performed, only select the one pole. Pinch or double tap to zoom and swipe to pan the image. Use the buttons on the top right to select which pole is being identified. When all the required supports have been identified, select the button on the top left to return to the span info page. If two poles have been identified, a result for the span length should appear, and the lines should be drawn on the image to sh uh, show the horizontal plane over the span and the vertical uh, direction at the poles. If we look at the top right of the screen, uh, there's a bin, that, and that can be used to delete the record, and that deletes a whole record from LineSmarts. The next button beside it is the export button, which can be used to either email a report of the analysis results or save it to the device hard drive. The export button, other export buttons are also available in other sections of LineSmarts 
where analysis results are displayed.